Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today from Clash with Ash, one of the premier clans in the family. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at Town Hall 11 content and I'm not saying like Town Hall 11 down on Town Hall 10. No, these wars are determined by how many Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11 three stars you can get. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Bow Witch composition today and how these guys are solidifying the wins in their wars by using this heavy composition to three star these Town Hall 11s while everybody's trying to catch up and get those defenses maxed out. Let's go ahead and get into some of those raids, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get into attack number one by Chaos Blade. Uh, this base was higher up on the map, and wait a minute. We've seen bases like this before, uh, more in the CWL realm, but more designed for the Town Hall 10s uh, to attack up. So, uh, Chaos Blade, man, makes this thing look extremely easy with the uh, composition that he uses here. Um, comes in from the southeast side, moving up towards the north, coming in and opening up with uh, four earthquake spells. Pretty standard stuff here, man. Opening up a large compartment in this whole base. Uh, really just opening a wide funnel on the inside of the base so that where our bowlers go directly into the core. Now, as you watch that drop, uh, he dropped a few giants for tanking, a large spread for his witches, and then the same thing for his bowlers. See how a lot of a, a, of a group he's got going on there. And everything's just going to kind of split off and go on four different directions or three different directions, actually. Uh, we have balloons and witches that go on the outsides of the funnel. And then we have a large group along with the heroes that go into the core of the base. Uh, we have multiple rage spells here. We have a heal spell here for the opposite side of the base. So as our barbarian king and queen and our group of bowlers get into the core here, uh, the eternal tome abilities pop. So that way... It allows our bowlers to continue to progress deeper into the space where the giant bombs are more than likely placed. And then our bowlers and witches continue on the outside flanks, working along the two sides on the outsides of the base. So they're really just tying up the defenses in two different locations. Uh, Barbarian King and a Queen um, and a few bowlers have progressed deeper into the base. At this point, the core of the base is completely gutted. We have our bowlers and witches that have continued to work on their way there on the outsides of the base. Our group up in the north have actually gone down due to the amount of defenses up there and the lack of tanking power up there. But either way, down in the south, our bowlers and our witches continue to progress. Our archer queen is backing that up. Her ability has already been popped. A grand warden still assisting with uh, coverage of his ability. And our group is going to continue to work their way around and back up into the north. At this point, we have two splash damage, an air defense, and two point defenses remaining as we speed this one up. And... Bring everything down. I mean, look at the size of this group of troops here. They just completely overpower the defenses up in this range with the assistance of the queen. Queen actually goes down due to the damage from a giant bomb. Doesn't matter though. We have plenty of defense or plenty of troops to finish up on that final defense. So let's go ahead and get in another one of these replays, guys. All right. So attack number two is about the same composition as before. Only this one's addressed a little bit differently. We got our inferno towers down here in the south in two different island compartments. Our Eagle and Artillery is up here near the Town Hall. Uh, all of the air defenses are more centralized, and we have this broad-faced wall up here in the northwest all the way up. And so what's going to end up happening here is Jagger's going to come in uh, with those the same groups, three different groups of giants. Uh, this time around, it, there's two jump spells instead of the earthquake spells. And so two giants, two giants, two giants, and then there's going to be a long wall of witches. Same thing as the bowlers as before, uh, really not piled up, kind of spread out, and it's getting damage all the way along the line uh, from the double bounce. Now, our bowlers and witches will split off and uh, go in three different directions. Now, we have a massive group that actually does go into the core of this base, uh, headed into the second jump spell, and then uh, I believe there is a heal spell there dropped before our bowlers get into the uh, next section of the base as well as the Grand Warden's ability being popped. Uh, Barbarian King's ability will be used as he gets in on that enemy Archer Queen. And then another jump spell is dropped. Uh, we're out of spells at this point. That final rage spell was dropped. And our witches look like they're about fizzling out on the sides or on the flanks of the base, on the south side and the north up here where the army camp's at. Um, our Archer Queen is now in the core of the base, and our bowlers are starting to fizzle out at this point. So it really kind of gutted the base at this point, but then when they start to get towards the back end, everything starts to little you know fizzle out and die off. Now everything's going to end up going onto the Queen's shoulders at the end of this raid. Uh, either way, a really solid two star. Uh, if you are having troubles with being able to two star at Town Hall 11, uh, this is also a pretty decent composition for being able to do that as well. 
Now, as our witches start to die off, we're losing our witches due to mortar coverage down on the corners down here. Uh, our Archer Queen will get through a wall. She'll go into a different compartment, kind of dance around a little bit. She'll take on the gold storage and then she'll work on that uh, wizard tower as well as her ability being popped since she was being targeted by uh, the Archer Tower down here. Now our witch is up in the north. They're pretty much gone. We got one remaining and she won't last very long. Uh, she's just kind of buying her time up there while the witches down in the south have teamed up with our archer queen our archer queen's tied up on a wall which is about normal so you can pretty much expect that this is going to happen she retargets gets caught up on some skeleton traps and then she'll go back to working on our wall and our g-dub grand warden will continue to cover our skellies from our witch our single witch while our archer queen sneaks in and finishes up this attack now obviously the level of the heroes are integral in this attack they are uh, what carries it into being a three-star attack anything lower than level 40 at town hall 11 i wouldn't highly recommend or expect that you're going to get a three-star attack but you never know if you do i'd like to see them anyway either way so we're going to finish this one up uh great attack here by jagger and we're going to get into yet again another three-star attack by the guys in clash with ash all right so attack number three is very similar to the other composition the composition is about the same every single time uh, on this base here, we have our wizard towers all centralized, clan castle centralized. Queen and king are up in a compartment by themselves. And then we have our uh, inferno towers spread out across the base in two different uh, locations. All of our air defenses are on one side. Most of the time you see uh, attacks, uh, bases like this hit by air. Uh, but either way, lower weight, weighted town hall 11 and done exactly the same way. We have a jump spell uh, for entry and then another jump spell for the core of the base. Two different or three different groups of giants followed up by that long wide wall of witches and bowlers and they're going to work um bowlers coming out of the clan castle in the center with the barbarian king and queen and our grand warden so everything's going to go and hit that first jump spell we do have a split in our bowlers and witches we'll have uh, bowlers and witches take the flanks while our main group goes into the core of the base Grand Warden's ability to pop for our bowlers to progress through that um, clan castle set of troops, and then another rage and another jump for the opposite side of the base. As our Bar Barbarian King's ability is popped, he's going to power through the Wizard Tower up north, taking on the Expo and taking over the Mortar up there, which assists our witches on the north side of the base, uh, really opening it up for our witches to continue to work on the north. And then our queen is going to take down the eagle artillery and assist with getting rid of this inferno tower. So our witches are grouped up down here in the south and they're working on that gold storage while the skeletons redirect, unfortunately. Uh, they were working on the wall. They redirect. Our queen's ability is popped on the back end of the attack, taking out two more defenses. So just a great attack here by Phyla. Um, our witches over in the west will continue to work on take down the town hall. Queen is stuck on a wall. Go figure. She's stuck on a wall. That's about the norm for her as our witches are battling it out versus an uh, expo down here. And that will go down and then follow it up with the amount of witches that are still on the base. They just simply overpower the base. We still have our uh, archer queen well, with some health going on there and she's not being targeted. Just a great attack here by Phyla. So we're going to follow it up with one more attack by the same attacker. Same strategy, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and finish it up with attack number four. You guys have seen this base multiple times. I mean, this is an old school base, uh, centralized Inferno Towers that are obviously not fully maxed out. This is a lower weighted Town Hall 11. Um, you're going to get these about midway down the map to the bottom of the map in Clash with Ash. Anyway, so all of our Wizard Towers are up in the north, and then our uh, Eagle Artillery is down in the south. We've seen this base probably a million times. Um, and what the attacker here, Philo, is going to do is about the same composition as before. Jump spell for entry, so you eliminate dealing with the wall breakers and our three groups of giants, long wall of witches. See the rep repetition here? It's the same thing over and over and over again. Um, it's it's obviously working on some bases. Um, it's not going to work on every single base, I will say that much, but it is a pretty solid attack for getting a solid two-star for those of you that have Town Hall 11s at the top of your maps and are unable to get the two stars with the Town Hall 10s and then you're, you're, you have a possibility of either three starring or two starring as a Town Hall 11. So either way, same as before, we got that heal spell down for our bowlers, Grand Warden's abilities popped. Uh, our bowlers are gonna power through the very tight uh, Inferno Tower placements 
as well as the Barbarian King leading the way, tanking for our bowlers. Our queen is assisting in the core of this base. Uh, nice wide funnel on both sides with the witches and bowlers working on the flanks of this base and working their way up. Just a great attack here by our attacker. Uh, Queen's ability is popped in the center. She will take down that Inferno Tower, or not Inferno Tower, the Expo up there. And now she's caught on a wall, which is about the normal, as well as our bowlers and witches just completely overpowering the eastern side and northwestern side of the base. We do have some wizard towers up there, but the Queen is there to follow it up and finish up this attack. So um, hopefully you get something out of this video uh, for you Town Hall 11s. Hopefully we're able to get you some content versus other 11s. Smash that like button, share the video if you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching, guys.